Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn a very cool trick uh, how to how to make uh, our SSRS report parameter optional. So we want to do ignore the parameter. Every time if you guys remember we create a parameter we have to provide some value. And uh, sometime uh, we don't want to provide a value but we want to select uh, or see all the rows uh, when we do not uh, provide the value. So here we are going to learn that trick. Let's go to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and take a look on our query. So this is the query we have that is returning us uh, 12 records uh, and uh, we are using a total sale table in the sales uh, database. Uh. So copy this query and go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. Uh, take a look on Share Data Source. Uh. So here we have Sales uh, Share Data Source that's pointing to the Sales uh, Database. Uh. Now we are fine, we can use this one. If you don't have it, go ahead and right click and create the new one. And go to the reports and here go to the add new item. Now select a report item and then provide the name. So we are going to say ignore or uh, say parameter option, optional underscore O. Fine, hit add empty report will be created go to the data sources right click here add data source uh, and give some proper name in this case we are going to call this one DS sales and now we will be using a shared data source so select that one if you want to create an embedded data source you can go ahead and create here hit ok let's go to the data set uh, add data set go to the use data set embedded in my report and we are going to call this one D set and total sale select the data source provide your query here and we are going to use this report with the parameter this will be called where region is equal to region at the rate sorry region name so this is our parameter name this is single value parameter so now this option is going to work great hit ok and uh, now right click here insert uh, and the table now let's get that uh, values here some of the columns and fields now what I want to do here I want to select the region as well item sold or product name fine item sold this is good hit here bold italic and change the background color so this is our header column row preview the report and now our parameter is created this is single value parameter and uh, we can put Asia North America or Europe uh, it should return us those uh, records uh. but what we want to do we want to run this report when uh, no value is provided to this parameter we want to get uh, all those uh, records uh. and when the value is provided th then it should use the value so here is a trick we want to use uh. so go to the data set again and here we'll say where region is equal to region name or at the rate region name is a null so we will call this one same parameter name is a null so this is the condition if we will be able to pass a null value to the this parameter then null is null that's going to work fine so uh, in that case it will return us all the records so first condition will be not true um, in this case there would be no value provided uh, and we have or uh, operator so it is going to check this one and if null value come to this one this is going to be true and return us uh, all the records uh, so we are good here even uh, you run the report now it's not gonna really use that uh, option uh, till we don't go to the parameters and uh, change some properties uh, if I will provide null value from here it will not take that null value and provide all those uh, records or results uh, because this null is a string uh, and uh, that null we have uh, in the uh, our query in the dset is uh, really null so it's unknown value so go to the design again go to the parameter and here right click and say parameter properties and now you will say allow null values once you say allow null value it is going to pass uh, the null value to the parameter so hit ok now we preview this one and uh, as you can see we did not provide any value here so when uh, you do not provide any value here it is it is a uh, uh, sending a null value to the uh, query and uh, in the dset total sale and null is null so that's why we are getting all the results uh, 
and if we will go ahead and remove this part and provide the value so we say Asia now it will return us only records belong to Asia so that's uh, one of the option we can use uh, allow null to return or ignore uh, and I will, I will say uh, the is the allow can be used to make your parameter optional in a way or uh, in the simple words you will be saying okay you want to get all the record when uh, no value is provided so you can use this uh, parameter in this case uh, it is optional right it, the, it is totally ignoring uh, the where class uh, and returning everything from that from that data set uh, so we are good uh, last thing we can do here uh, instead of uh, let's say we want to have drop down for our parameter so we can use that as as uh, well so let's go to the data set have a data set called it D region let's go to the embedded data set data source select a distinct region from our table so let me copy the table name total sale copy this one bring it here and we are good go to the parameter now right click parameter properties available values coming from the query and we say region values coming from the region label is the same so hit ok now if you preview the report uh, you see that that null is gone from here but the very first value as uh, we did alone null values it took that value null and uh, it is ignoring the entire thing uh, and uh, returning us uh, all the results uh, from that uh, query so uh, now we can go ahead and Asia for Asia we can see the results for Asia Europe European result and uh, when we run without providing any value if we go to preview again we are not providing any value so null value is provided to the query that make it the query uh, results are true in this case let me show you query one more time and uh, I, I might take this query and just show you in the SSMS uh, how it is going to work so let's take this query and here a null or uh, at the rate region let me copy this one is null so if we have declare a variable here so we'll say declare at the rate watcher 10 and now I will say set at the rate is equal to null now this square this value is a null so this is gonna be the true part so if we run this query see all the results are returned and if I will provide the value then as the value is present uh, it's going to ignore this or part uh, as if the first part is true so it's going to return whatever comes uh, so in this case it will return the azure res the results uh. so this, this is a trick uh, you can use uh, to make your pa parameter optional and return everything uh, from your result sets um, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video